across the board, why would you not run a Natalia? They have, they have got nothing. If you have a Liliana diving the back lines, big bursts of damage, maybe Natalia is kind of questionable. Same with Ras. However, if your mage is a Jinnar and nobody else on this team has big mobility dashes, why not? And now we are starting to see dead rabbits already looking towards this dragon. This is pretty optimistic. Watch how fast they can burn it down with the Fennec. The Pooty Poots oh. are going in right now, but a great flank. But no, Alex P is still going to take it. But the noob is in full retreat. He is going to go down. Massive damage potential. We watched it against Existence last time, but the being there a pro is. is not going to be nearly enough. Sizer might be in trouble as Javex is going to be joining the fray right now, but it is not nearly enough. Now all five members, actually all 10 members, are rotating down towards this Dragon Barbera is going to be the target. Nice pullback, the noob as well, but Ruiz on the flank, and Sizer is getting so very low. Look at the flank, the noob, great stun in the back as well. Alex P is trying to split this fight, focusing on the Dragon and Sibo. Nicely done there, we do have a kill on both. Actually, one side only, Javex is going to be the target going Back and forth, both these teams are trading. Sizer survives a little bit longer. I cannot believe he is still alive. They needed to shut down the, the farm of this Fennec. I mean, they are talking about Ibu Chichi level eight, Dark Sibu level 10. That shouldn't be happening. The noob is gonna die again. Welcome back. Here's the Chainhammer Cyclone for you. So it's just about buying time and buying gold. And now we do have the uh, engage from that Omen as well on the flanks. They're trying to find Alex P. They are able to do so. Beautiful thanks from Yavix and the Exuberance as well oh. for Ruiz, but he is still with a full. Clamaris is going to drop and return, but Yavix is getting oh so low. The size of Dead Reptiles is a good amount of HP between the Barbers is going to be the target. As Fennec is still alive, going back in once again. Red still going too far under the tower, is going to still hold on through all of this. And I think that's really cost them, as now Dead Rabbits are back at full potential. However, this is Team Queso going in the exuberance. They need to take down Alex P, but he oh. is going to survive. The noob, though, is going to drop, but the being a bro will keep him back in there. But look at the, the damage from Alex P! That is insane. Dark Sebo as well is ripping through them. They kept him alive, and now Clamaris is on the flight going in there. There's the Ryu, the double stun, the follow-up, the spin! Dead Rabbit survives! Clamaris arrives on the scene quicker than Javex, who has to walk after his ultimate is interrupted and now he is burned down that's something but they are going to still try and take it even with the debuff with the fennec damage they can actually rip through <laughs> this oh no this is what was a what was a mountain is now mount everest team queso has so far to climb to come back into this game the noob is still going to drop to tank the shots and it slows down the pressure. Gavix is actually looking to go in right now, but he misses the initial stun. Sizer is going to be the target, bringing it back in. But Natalia, through all of this, they're trying to trade right now. Gavix with the follow up stun. Barbara is going to survive with the being a bro. So this is actually going in favor of Team K. So as the tower does lock in right there, but Clamaris is still on the flank trying to take this tower down. He's going to be able to do so. They will win these next few fights. They're going in right now, looking to take him down. Clamaris is there. This Irie is exactly how you were supposed to be playing this hero. He is putting on a clinic. Let's just start these fights. You know, the side of Dead Rabbits is going in at half HP. However, when Barbara is getting pulled over the wall, the combo of the Chain Hammer Cyclone, he is going to drop right now. Will he come back? There's the being a bro. But Yavix is still on the low ground. The team is able to pull right on through this. So look, the health bars are dead. Rabbits, the exuberance from Ruiz. Ruiz. Can he get through there? Yes, he does. He gets one. Can Sizer clean him up? The defense from Yavix! The Ruiz effect. I, I agree, but as we do get later into this game and gold starts to mean a little bit less, I gotta give props for Kaysa to bringing this back within 5k gold right now. That is super impressive. If the noob gets picked off uh -oh. right here, though, this could be <laughs> disastrous. There's the Angelic Splinter blown. There's the being a bro blown. It was, it was in time, so he will come back. Restless is going to be the target up. The Great Dark Dominion as well from Sizer Tremble. The rest of the team back. Natalia is dishing this damage through. He needs to not get caught, though. Zibu Chichi is on the flank right now, trying to find Sibo in the back, and they take him down. He will be back, of course, into this fight, and that is going to be Restless dropping, though, in return. The noob not going to be picked up by the Death Scythe, so it's actually a good trade there for Queso. Javex alone, particularly. He needs to not go and watch how fast he is, because his HP is going to go down with the Fennec there. He overcommitted, stayed way too long. Yavex is going to live just a moment longer, but the noob is going to pay for it as well. The flank's going down. The tower is going to drop, but that is too kills for one as Clamaris needs to oversend, but no, he survives the shadow to escape. Barbara is going to keep chasing him, but that's just too far. He's badly overextended, and Alex P will end him a double kill to Clamaris. And this is what happens. That is going to be it. Not even waiting for the minions to get here. They can shred through it regardless. That is going to be GG. Game number one is going to the Dead Rabbits. Oh. I really like this comp, though, for Team Queso. Oh. I really like this cup. I was going to ask more questions about your crack dreams, but we'll put a hold on that. The, the, they're this. Um, they're I'm gonna this. Put a this is. I'm going to put a blockade on that, and I, I actually would like to see them blockade Natalia because the success that we have found of Natalia's have been when the back lines have been there. 
because she's able to pump out that damage from the back. Now, as I say that, they hover as well over the Kali, which I, could be an option too. I would actually prefer the Liliana here, which is what they lock in, just because <sighs> with the Scud and other initiation tools, Natalia is just going to get bodied. Yeah. At least Liliana has some ability, and she can still throw out those big... Eat that experience to Dark Sebo, he's going to start suffering. Do you, do you need a Kleenex? Oh, no! Whoa. Sizer is in a world of hurt right now. The heal comes down, everything being popped, trying to save him, and a great positioning there in the Chain Hammer Cyclone to stop the rest of the team from coming in. Barbara is going to take that stun to follow up as well. And uh, while Dead Rabbits does lose a hero for this, they do a lot of damage in return. So they're really just looking for fighting. Oh, that's a good death embrace. Clamera's caught out. That is going to be the engage right there. The noob following world up the devour. world. Devour is there. They do get the initial pick as well. But Sizer and crew are going to look to try and go back in. And the hook is not going to follow up. Not able to secure that final damage was Alex P. They're still rotating through up top, though. Speaking of Yavex, he's forced to burn that death embrace under the tower. The tower is going to fall, and he is going to join it. But they're going to look to trade around the bottom as well as Restless is going to drop, chaining up the tower. So nicely done there from Team Queso, identifying that, hey, look, we need to keep pushing here. Hooks. Big hooks is exactly what we're looking for, and big spears as well. Finding Ibuchichi there, but not able to find the follow-up there is the initiation. Alex P, though, very mobile. The world developer finding Sizer, pulling everyone in with an Aegis Rally. The noob is going to get instantly chunked. Yavix as well is going to drop. So that was exactly what I'm talking about, pulling in those sub-optimal targets, and now Dead Rabbits gets two kills. Exemplary of Europe, because to call Team Queso the worst team is unfair. It is, because they're so good when they're able to pull off plays like this. Alex P puts one toward the line. The world developer as well is going in. Clamaris is trying to disrupt this, but Sizer is in the midst of all of them, but they're still doing so much damage and he's surviving barbara is going to chase eventually they get the pick there out of the pure of the fall oh. under restless one more and they take it that's not where you want a scud to be typically you play scud in the side lanes for the big impact speaking of big impact tizer is once again in the middle of the team but there World we go devour. there's the follow-up after the nature's rally has already gone down but yavix is getting so chunked barbara has overextended the team survived with the fall from ruiz ruiz 1v4 to speak of Team Queso with the turn! They've got their players in the ideal position for it. Speaking of ideal position, we once again see the hook going back in, trying to kill the Pura here. The Reiki shot, will it connect it? Yes! It does! Devour, there it did, and it didn't matter long run because they still had enough burn damage. Uh, speaking of burn damage with the Chain Hammer Cyclone, the noob eventually gets chunk right now, and this is the counter initiation. But once again, Ruiz goes in, finds two in an instance. He's reaching critical mass. What looked like a disastrous fight for them suddenly turns around. Ruiz, what a beast! And it's just so much burst from uh, Fed Liliana. If they are able to consistently save that burst for the key moments in the fights, it works so well. Sizer is forced to burn the Nature's Rally to try and take this down. The wave is there, but he's now he's not going to have it to yes, interrupt the world developer. And there we go, the follow-up damage from Liliana trying to re-engage those. Clamaris going in, Candy's with the fight, not doing so. We are going to have the kill going out there as well. Liliana is going in restless. P needs to just do so much more on this tool, and he's not quite able to find it. The Thunderbird, Ruiz doing a great job of block, body blocking there. Oh, Clamaris. Barbara is going in. Clamaris is stepping up, getting the pick. Will he go oh. down? He will, though. And Yavix is still in the mid. That's another high ground tower exposed. Alex P needs to go the clutchest he has ever clutched right now, but this is so close to going to the, the car. The world is there. And that is the follow up team. Queso It's going to do it. The minion wave is here. That is going to be it. They take the game in the series. One, two.